Scientists are always trying to uncover mysteries of ancient Egypt. The latest breakthrough, a DNA bone test from a skeleton of a man, revealed he is from the south of Egypt, lived more than 4,600 years ago, probably a potter who died at about the age of 60. But it also shows the man from the village of Noirat has 20% ancestry from Mesopotamia that's 1,500 kilometers away in Iraq or Syria, raising more questions than answers. When history and science merge, the results are amazing. This research proves that there is nothing such as a pure race because there were many migrations throughout history, marriages, trade and economic ties that led to the mixing of races. This doesn't contradict with the historical findings. But experts have warned not to jump to conclusions that would deviate from the origin of the ancient Egyptians. There was the uh, whitewashing of uh, the Egyptians that they were uh, ancient Egyptians, they came from Europe. And there was the uh, blackwashing that they came from the sub-Saharan African. And this uh, all are not uh, uh, true and proved by science that not to be uh, true, especially here the DNA that showed that uh, from this uh, Noirat man, 80% uh, was related actually from uh, uh, Egypt. Experts have also agreed on the need for more tests on a wider scale before rewriting ancient history. But it's not always a straightforward process. There are some challenges that can prevent having some accurate results. Issues like DNA degradation and contamination throughout the centuries could alter the skeleton state. The ancient DNA coming from Egypt, where the, 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 the country known of its uh, hot uh, weather, made it very difficult to obtain a sample that is sufficient to give us an information about uh, the DNA. As well as uh, in the library from uh, where we get the information in order to compare the samples, uh, the ancient samples, from the other samples. However, in this case, buried under a ceramic tile, has preserved the body of this new Iraq man and helped unearth other valuable information. We always thought that life expectancy in ancient Egypt was an average of 35 to 40 years of age. But this test showed the new Iraq man has lived from 44 to 60 years, which is much longer than we thought. It opens the door about science, medicine, and a way of life of ancient Egyptians. DNA bone tests are now considered a turning point in efforts to unearth more mysteries about the fascinating life of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo, Egypt.